Hey everybody, Rich Lavelle with the Vacaville Baseball Barn, Master Instructor with Epstein Hitting System and Epstein Hitting Online Academy. And today I want to address something that a viewer wrote in and, and basically what he was saying is that, hey, I've been working the bucket drill and it's helping me out except for when I go back to game swing, I get this, you know, people talk about wrist snap or, or I'm rolling my wrist early. What do I do to correct that? And first, let's make sure we understand something. The bucket drill, the real design of that, not that it doesn't help with that extension a little bit, but the real design of that is to keep the elbow behind the knob and make sure the knob stays in front of the elbow, the back elbow, in order to get in a proper position to release the bat from approach into contact and on through extension and power V. So that's the primary role of that. Our contact drill into swing away off of a tee or even a dry swing is where we'd really work on extension and then trying to correct that early wrist roll. And I've seen this where, you know, there are people out there that are talking about snapping the wrist. And to me, this is an early wrist roll. This is snapping the wrist. So let, let's kind of clarify those two things. And the other is this. If you're gonna work on a flaw, you've gotta remember, it's about 1,500 to 2,000 proper repetitions before you can ever correct that old flaw. And again, I've, I've said this often, can you do this during season or during games or, or in tournament play, you know, as you're going through your tournament season? Absolutely, but it's just gonna take a little bit longer. You're gonna to have to put in a little bit of extra time on your work. And the best way that I find of correcting this early wrist roll, number one, he's correct in the, in the, as far as the bucket drill goes at keeping this back elbow back and then getting into this position here will allow us to not overcompensate from the barrel drop if we happen to be bat dragging like this, all right? So that's the one thing, but remember, you have to get into repetitions. If you don't have somewhere 1,500, 2,000 proper repetitions, 60% of normal swing speed, then you're just not getting there. If you're somewhere between 750 and 1,000 reps on the bucket drill, and then maybe you can advance up to the contact drill with a, a T, and this is basically what you do, 50 to 60%, go through all your proper setup, and do it with a no stride for right now, and then all you would do is just turn, get into contact, and then extend here. Notice that I'm still basically palm up, palm down, and then what you can do is a lazy finish like this. A little bit more advanced. Those are some things that can help you out. But remember, you've got to stay with the work. Stick with the process. That's the way to beat poor swing flaws. If you like this, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and then share us with your friends, family, and teammates. And check out our Facebook page for upcoming events.